my name is Ruth Conwell and I just thought I would take a minute to have a chat about my most recent work and the direction that I'm moving in with my paintings at the moment. So for those of you who have been following me for a little while, you'll know that I've been painting a lot of photorealism um, in the last few years but I'm moving towards more of an abstract landscape sort of painting style. And there's a few reasons for that, really. I find that abstracts keep the eye moving and they bring you more into a subconscious thought pattern, sort of like when you listen to music and you can't explain why it moves you, but it does. And there's a lot of time and energy that goes into putting all of those pieces together to make you feel a certain way. And that's how I feel about abstract paintings, that you keep the eye moving around the canvas and you, you draw in a whole range of different experiences to create what the artist wants you to feel or what they think that you will of course, it's all very subjective and some people will never really understand why I'm so drawn to abstraction now. For me, it's a really natural progression from moving from what my eyes can see into what my brain wants to portray. So this particular work is a bit more in the way of expressionism. There's a bit of Brett Whiteley in there, which I really love, particularly the ultramarines. And it's also a response, um, my response to being at the beach and being in nature. So if you use nature as a way of being more mindful, which is something that I do, maybe you'll turn up at the beach with a whole lot going on in your head. There's a lot of stress and anxiety. There's hints of different things that might be bringing you out of a place of comfort and relaxation and keeping you really tense. But when you're at the beach, if you can focus on the things around you, like sinking your feet into the sand, the way the waves lap up against the shore, the way everything feels and sounds around you can snap you out of this and bring you into this, into this relaxed flow state. And for me, when I paint, sometimes I start with a picture in mind of what I'm going to create. And sometimes I work from a stream of conscious and whatever's happening in my head, I just put it down. And then there might be layers upon layers upon layers of uh, thoughts and feelings um, and, and some of it almost photorealistic, but it all comes down into the final work. And what I want to be portraying in my works at the moment is a sense of discomfort and relaxation. For me, the, the pairing of the two, they sort of go together. In order to feel relaxed and comfortable, we also have that, that tension point in our lives. And sometimes the beach and the bush might feel lonely. You might feel separate. And for that reason, I don't include figures in my paintings because you end up focusing on this other person. This, this stranger maybe at the beach. But for me, those experiences are personal and it's about me. And I hope that my viewer feels that my paintings are also about them. And I'm aiming for you as the viewer to have an experience when you look at them. And I'd really love any feedback that anyone has on that because I'm still finding my voice in my paintings and I'm also finding my voice in the way I talk about my paintings, because they say a picture paints a thousand words, but you also need to be able to use words to describe your picture, particularly when you're moving into abstraction or more contemporary works that 
don't always fit with people's uh, traditional understandings of art and beauty. Um, and really, you do need to feel that a painting that might go on your wall is something that is beautiful and that moves you. And sometimes having the words around that helps. So I, I hope that that helps anyone who is interested in why I'm going about my paintings the way I am these days. Thanks. Bye.